Hey guys, me like big boom here and welcome to Unturned 3.15.2.0. This week's update was primarily surrounding explosives in the game. We got some new explosives as well as some huge changes regarding the explosives that we already have. And all this talk about explosives and booms is making me quite excited, obviously. So let's get right into these changes. Now I'm sure many of you guys have already noticed I've set up a bunch of chambers here that are intended to simulate a base raid. Now a lot of the changes in this update were regarding explosives and making them either ineffective against bases or hard to find or difficult to craft and all that stuff. So right now I'm going to walk you through from left to right all the different options that are available to base raiders in regards to getting into somebody's base. To start and the worst option is the new makeshift grenade. This is crafted using raw explosives, nails and a can and you also need level 1 crafting level. Once you have those supplies, we can craft a makeshift grenade. This is completely, like when I say completely, I mean it's not entirely completely, but it's just pointless to throw this at a base. It's, it's a can with nails in it. You can sit here all day throwing these little makeshift grenades at bases. They're not going to do anything. The main reason why you would want to craft these is to damage people. This, that is what they're designed for. They shoot out nails. They're not going to do anything against a metal wall, but they are going to be pretty effective against flesh targets. So this is a makeshift grenade that's really designed for destroying people, not walls. Ow. The next step up are the grenades. These cannot be crafted, these can only be found in military bases. This is just like it has been before, but the issue before is that any sort of naked guy could walk into a military base, grab two grenades, and then bust into a metal door using only two to three grenades. Now they are not nearly as effective against walls and bases and stuff like that. And that makes sense as well, I mean in real life frag grenades shoot little pieces of metal, they're designed uh, for infantry stuff they're not gonna blast through doors they're not gonna do any of that uh, so right now as you can see I've thrown three grenades so far moving on four we're not going anywhere with this we're not gonna be able to get in using these grenades we used to before I mean right now we'd be well inside this base but we're not doing anything against these grenades so if you find some grenades in a military base keep them. Do not throw them. Unless you want to kill a person, then you can throw it at them. They're still pretty effective against flesh targets, but if you want to get into a base, uh-uh, not happening. The next step up is the sticky grenades. Now, these used to be called C4. You know, they look like the C4 in CSGO, um, and they were thrown, and they can stick against targets and stuff like that, but these are the next step up from frag grenades. So, when you find a frag grenade in a military base, keep them and use them alongside raw explosives, wire, and glue in order to craft a sticky grenade. You're also going to need level 2 crafting for this, and then you can craft a sticky grenade. These are going to be a little bit more effective against bases. You might actually be able to get into a base using these sticky grenades. They also have the added bonus of being able, ow, ooh, these are very good against people too. Eventually, you'll be able to get into this. I mean, I'm destroying all the other stuff. I destroyed the crates and all that. Jeez. But it's still going to take a lot and a lot of sticky grenades in order to get into a base. All right, to be honest, I actually expected to be able to go through this metal wall here using the sticky grenades, but it's become clear that that is not the case. I've actually damaged myself more than I have that wall. It's important to realize that sticky grenades are just a better version of the frag grenades in regards to infantry damage. They are just frag grenades with glue surrounding them. They are going to be more effective against people, but they're still not going to be very good at all against bases. So you can take a frag grenades, you can turn them into sticky grenades, but if you want to get into a base, do not throw sticky grenades at the base. They're not going to be very effective. If you want to get into a base, I mean, we've gone through three different methods here. You're going to need to put in a lot of effort. You're going to need to find grenades. You're going to need to turn the grenades into sticky grenades. Then you're going to need to take the sticky grenades and turn them into breaching charges. So you take a sticky grenade, wire, raw explosives, and then we can now create a breaching charge. These are going to be your go-to option if you want to get into somebody's base. These work a little bit different in that they are placed down, they aren't thrown, they work just like they should be. I mean, before, you remember this model, you had to throw them and they stuck against the wall even though they looked like they were something that you placed down. Now they're a little bit more appropriate, they got little keypads here, you place them down on the wall, but how do you detonate them? You're going to need a detonator, and this cannot be crafted, it can only be found in military bases. This is what the detonator looks like when it is 
in your hand. Once again, it needs to be found in military bases and it is quite rare. It is just as rare as Alice packs and GPSs. So once you do actually find a grenade and turn the grenade into a sticky grenade and then turn the sticky grenade into a breaching charge and then on top of that, find a detonator, finally, you will be able to at least be moderately effective against bases. And these are very good. So the way that this detonator works is actually pretty interesting. You can see here that it's red right now saying, hey, this, this grenade is not gonna explode. You can see that little outline around the grenade. I can click this, nothing's gonna happen. If you want it to explode, you look at it until it highlights yellow, you right click until it turns blue, and then when you look away and when it's green, it's saying, yay, that's good to go. When I click the left click button, it will detonate that breaching charge and boom, we are in the base. Look at how effective this thing is. We just destroyed this entire wall. These are the breaching charges that we all need. If somebody has a breaching charge, you better armor up. You, you better get ready because somebody is about to bust into your base. These breaching charges are fantastically effective. We do not need more than one. I mean, seriously, we can go around and we can place these all around and we can pretty much destroy this entire base. And what's also fantastic is that you can detonate more than once using the new controls of the detonator charge. So as you can see, they're all here, they're all red, and then we can go around each individual one and right click saying, I want to detonate these ones. And then when you left click, it will detonate all the ones that are green. But let's say I don't want to detonate that one, I'll right click it. So now all the ones that are green are gonna explode, except for that red one. That one might end up being destroyed from the blast. But I click this, Look at this, we've just destroyed this base. That is awesome. And that's and that other one also didn't explode, so we can right click that and boom, we got that one. So this is what you can do to bases if you have enough breaching charges. Keep in mind, you gotta find a frag grenade, you gotta find explosives, wire, glue to turn it into a sticky grenade. Then you gotta take your sticky grenade, find more explosives and wire and turn it into a breaching charge. And then you gotta find a detonator, which is really rare. And then finally, you'll be able to get into somebody's base. Awesome. And then on top of that, you can even take this to the next step, boys and girls. You can also craft rockets now. If you take a breaching charge and raw explosives, you can finally craft a rocket. But you still need to find the rocket launcher. Keep that in mind. But once you do find a rocket launcher, we can now craft rockets. And these are also very effective at getting into bases because you can launch them from far away. And you don't need to run up close to put down the breaching charge on their front door where they might kill you. So anyway, that's crafting explosives as a current stands. Keeping your base is going to be really easy. I mean, before, little newbies could run into the military base, find a grenade, toss it at your base, and your whole base is screwed. Now, there's a lot and a lot more effort that's required in order to get explosives and in order to get into people's bases, and hopefully, bases are actually going to be able to be made in PvP servers. Moving on to some of the more minor improvements and tweaks, server owners can now type in hide underscore admins into commands.dat to not give the admins that blue color and make everybody behave when they join the server. They can be like undercover police, very cool. Especially with inaccurate guns, bullets don't always land exactly where you're looking. And in order to combat that, Nelson made the hit markers show up where they actually hit rather than right at the center of your screen. So if I hit fire spray, you'll notice that the hit markers are showing where those bullets are actually landing on this tree. And if I look down, you can see that I'm having better accuracy. And if I'm prone, those hit markers are dead on accurate. It just gives you a better idea of how accurate your gun is currently performing, what kind of changes you need to do, where the bullets are actually landing, and it's just all a lot better. I'm really liking that hit marker system. The wheat and corn in the fields of the farms are now swaying. Pretty cool. A minor improvement, but the meshes and the foliage shading of the trees have been improved so that the leaves of the trees look a lot more dense. In light of all the changes regarding explosives in this week's update, explosives are now called raw explosives. And lastly, bows are no longer one-shot god machines. They are in line in regards to damage with the sharpshooter rifles like the Hawkhound and Schofield. But anyway, that pretty much wraps up everything that was added in Unturned 3.15.2.0. I'm really liking all the changes regarding explosives. You guys should comment your thoughts down below. There were a few minor little tweaks and improvements that I did not cover in this video, but if you guys would like to check those out, as always, I will put the full update post in the description down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to rate, comment, subscribe, and do all that gibberish because me like big boom is out.
is out. Uh, oh.